All new at 10, health officials worry the flu could make a comeback this year after a nearly non-existent flu season last year. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel joins us live now with what that could mean for hospital capacity and what doctors say you should do if you start feeling sick. Audrey. Nora, we just wrapped up our first official week of flu season, and so far there are very few flu cases in Oregon. But as the flu season continues, doctors have two main pieces of advice. One is make sure you're vaccinated against both COVID and the flu. A lot of pharmacies like the Walgreens here offer both of those vaccines. And then two, if you start feeling symptoms, since both of these illnesses can feel so similar, they suggest get tested for both. Last flu season, Oregon saw an unprecedented record low number of flu cases. Thanks in most part to all of the precautions in place for COVID-19 and more people getting the flu vaccine. Just take a look at this graph from the Oregon Health Authority showing emergency department visits for flu in 2019 to 2020 in blue and the same for 2020 to 2021 in orange. This year, we're still wearing masks and sometimes social distancing, but businesses are back to full capacity. A lot of us are back to work in person and a big one. Kids are back in school. According to the Oregon Health Authority, school age children are the biggest driver of flu transmission. Gatherings, people uh, going to uh, homes where people are getting together. All those things really play a significant role, including being inside and not wearing a mask. So again, our ask is for people to wear a mask, especially when they're inside, because that will limit the transmission of the COVID as well as the influenza. OHA Senior Health Advisor Dr. Emilio DeBest says it's also possible that we have reduced natural immunity to flu from not having much exposure last year, though we don't know for sure. But it's another reason the flu shot is so important this year. The main concern in all of this is that people can get so sick from the flu that they have to be hospitalized. And right now, hospitals are still strained with COVID cases, patients who delayed care, and short staffing and healthcare worker burnout. Potentially, we could see an increase in the number of hospitalizations related to the flu. At that point, we're going to truly overwhelm our hospital system. We must think about our community in general. We need to think about protecting ourselves and our families against the flu and COVID-19. Another tricky aspect is that flu and COVID can feel very similar as far as symptoms. So Dr. DeBest says as soon as you feel sick, get tested for both. Because if it is COVID, you need to follow quarantine precautions. Don't wait until you lose your taste or smell or have trouble breathing to realize that it actually is COVID and not the flu because you could be infecting other people. And according to OHA, it is perfectly fine and safe to get a COVID shot or booster and a flu shot at the same time. Now, a positive note here, places like New Zealand and Australia are already actually having a light flu season and health officials have not noticed any new flu strain come up. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.